Hello and welcome to chapter 14 or part 14 of this tutorial programming series on C. I'm picking up exactly where the last video left off, part 13, which is with these variables declared as part of the hangman program. Except that I've added a couple of things on, on the bottom. I forgot in the last video to actually add on an array of characters called guess in this case, which is the guess that the user makes because we're going to need to take some input. And I've also added a printf statement, which you can see here, which simply prints to the screen at the start what word has been selected randomly from our array of words, what index it has, so random index, and the length of that word as well, just so that we've got something as a little bit of reference for later on. If I go and compile the program and run it, here it's selected Windows, set it at index 3 and the length is 7. If I go back up to the array, you can see that 0, 1, 2, indeed Windows is index 3 and has a length of 7 characters. If I run the program again, this time it was at purple at index 2 and the length is 6, 0, 1 and 2. So that's simply there just to give us a bit of assistance when we're running the program. What's called debugging assistance, just to check what variables are being stored where and what values they have. Okay, so let's look at, have a look at the user or the game loop in this video. So the way the game's going to run, we're going to use something called a while loop, which you're already familiar with, and we're going to say that whilst the number of correct letters guessed is less than the length of the word, keep looping. So the game will keep running whilst the number of letters we've guessed correctly is less than the length of the word, which should be fairly self-explanatory. If a word is seven letters long and we've only guessed six, then we haven't guessed all of the letters in the word. The next thing we need to do is we need to then ans uh, ask sorry, the user to enter a guess letter. And then we'll use our familiar old fgets to store, whoops, wrong bracket, to store inside our guess array 16 characters at the most from the standard input. And now what we want to do is the first thing is we want to check whether the user just can't be bothered anymore and wants to quit. So we'll say, and this should all be familiar from the previous videos, if guess starts with quit for the first four, first four characters, i.e. this function equals zero, then we'll set our variable quit to one, because remember at the start here it's been set to zero, and we'll break out of the while loop. And you may be wondering why we're setting a variable to say that we've quit. Well, that won't be the only reason that we leave the while loop. One of them could be because num correct is now equal to the length of the word, which means the user's actually won and correctly guessed the word, or it could be that the user's run out of lives and has died. So down the bottom here we can say that if quit is equal to 1, then we know that the user typed quit, and we can then very easily say in here, printf the user quit early and put a new line on the end of there. Just neaten that up a little bit and save. So if I now compile the program and run it, it's now telling me to enter a guess letter, but obviously the while loop keeps running and running and running because in nowhere inside the loop am I actually incrementing the number of correct guesses, that'll come later on when we start looking at the actual logic of the game. The one thing, that, however, that is implemented is if I type quit, it recognises this, breaks out of the loop, and tells us that the user quit early. So that's it for this video, because things have to be done step by step, otherwise they go on much too long. And basically what I've done, just to recap in this video, is I forgot to, in the first video on this Hangman game, make the guess array. So for the user's input, I've printed here for debugging purposes, most purposes mostly at the start, what word and what index and how long the word is. And I'll put another new line at the end of here to make that easier to read next time we run. 
And then now we've actually got our game loop here. And I'll comment that now with game loop. Which runs round and round and round until the number correct is no longer less than the length of the word or breaks out at the moment if the user has typed quit. And then after the while loop, it looks to see if quit has been set to 1 and then it knows that the user actually typed quit and prints to the screen the user quit early. OK, that's it then for this video. In the next video we'll start looking at actually some of the game logic in the Hangman game. Thanks very much. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome on YouTube.